Hey guys, thanks for joining us back on our channel here at Extreme Outfitters. Zach and JR here, and 2024 bows, they've already started rolling in. Yep. So we've got our first shipment of stuff in, and we're starting with the bow tags. So if you haven't seen our video, we've got the aluminum bows that we did a review on, that's up. Um, and now we've got their new Carbon One X. So Bowtech had a carbon bow last year, it was mm -hmm. the Carbon One. This is the Carbon One X. The Carbon One came in at 30 inches, I believe. Yes, sir. Yep. The Carbon One X is now a 33 inch carbon bow. So we'll go over the specs real quick and then we're gonna take this thing over the range and we're gonna shoot it for you guys to get some real speeds out of it at both 28 and 30 inches on both comfort and performance. Yep. So let's start with the specs on this bow. So again, we said this bow comes in at 33 inches. It's got a brace height of six and one eighth of an inch. Draw weight is, you can get them in 50, 60 or 70 pounds. And then they have a draw weight or draw length adjustment from 25 and a half to 30 inches, or 30 and a half 30 inches, and a half, yeah. Yeah, excuse me. So like I said, the overall weight is four and a half pounds and IBO on this is 339. It's not bad. So we'll see. It's a good overall length, I think 33, right. that 30 to kind of 34 inches is, we, is where we sell the majority of our yeah. bows. That 32 to 34 inch I think is probably the most popular for us. Um, but, there was a good response last year from the Carbon One. We sold a handful of them, they did well. I think this 33 inch ATA is gonna be a little bit better accepted. Yeah, more appealing. For our customers. Right. You know, it's right in that in that sweet spot. It's not too short. And 30 right. inches for a lot of people around here is, is a kind of a short bow. Don't get me wrong, we sell a lot of them, but more towards that 32, 33 inches yeah. is the more popular bows for us around here on the East Coast. So let's look at some of the features that they've kept on um, the... Carbon 1X. The Carbon 1X, good Lord. So when you notice, Bowtech is, like we talk about all the time, one of the most tunable bows on the market. By far. So if you are somebody that likes to tinker and do your own tuning, the great thing about the Bowtech is the adjustments and the adjustability that you can do yourself without a press. Correct. One of those features being the deadlock cam system. So. Whenever we go to tune a bone, we put it through paper. The great thing about the deadlock cam system is if whatever tear you can get, all you gotta do is loosen that set screw and move that cam with the twist of an Allen key left or right to, to fix that tear. There's no busting out axles, no, no shimming, pressing, no pressing. Yep. It's very, very simple. From there, something new that they implemented in these is their time lock. I didn't even see that. You got I it. sure did. Yeah. yeah. So they've got the time lock. Boom. So this is awesome. This is an awesome feature for, for anybody, like we said, that likes to do their own tuning. The cool thing about this, so let's say you go from hot to cold, the bow comes out of time a little bit. You can adjust the timing of the bow with their time lock system. You literally loosen the set screw, move it counter uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, and it'll adjust the timing of the cams without pressing it. It's phenomenal. So a cool thing with that is they actually brought that over from their target bows. Right. They introduced that last year on the uh, Reckoning Gen 2. Yep. So I'm I'm excited that they actually offer that now in the hunting lineup. It's phenomenal addition. And we've had some customers that some of our customers for last year were curious if they were going to do it, and Bowtech did do it. So I think it's going to be um, a pretty hot and well accepted feature, oh, yeah. especially the guys that are really into you know tuning, bow hunting, and tinkering. It really is a great feature for right. those individuals. From there, we've got, um, what other features do we got that are new? The, uh, one overall is ATA. Um, it does come with, if you look at the orbital dampeners that it comes with, you can run these in the center of the riser, right. or you can run them off to the left or right, either mm -hmm. side. I've always been a big fan of the Bowtech grip. The Bowtech grip is a nice low profile grip. It fits in the hand really, yes. really well. So a lot of great features with the Bowtex. And again, this thing, it's a carbon bow. It comes in right at four and a half pounds. We'll actually put that to the test. Yeah. We'll weigh it and see what it what the true weight is right. um, with the whisker biscuit on there that we're using for testing to get speeds. Uh, but before we head over the range, you got anything else you want to add to this bow or say about the bow before we head over there? Um, the only other thing would be the, the core lock. Uh, am I saying that right? The new core um, system? Center mass. Center mass, sorry, center mass. The new quiver, the center mass quiver will actually fit onto this bow as well. Um, if you look at our other video where they have introduced the core center, center mass. Center mass. Why do I keep saying core? Sorry, center mass, sights and everything, it will not work on this bow, but 
the quiver will. So right, which is again the center mass. The whole point behind that with Bowtech is keeping everything like everyone else in line. So we got a nice tight, low profile bow. Not a lot of things hanging off. So your arrows, quiver, and everything fit nice and tight. Uh, and the bow just. Whenever you're shooting the bow, you don't have all that weight one side or the other that right. you got to really counter with back bars and right. stuff like that. It helps keep everything in line. Yep. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to head over to the range. We're going to shoot a 440 grain arrow through this bow at both 28 and 30 inches on comfort and performance to see the speed differences that we're getting out of them. Right. Typically, what we've noticed going from the settings, when you go from comfort to performance, you gain about... 10 feet. 10 feet per second out of the bow. So we'll see if that holds true on the Carbon 1X. So give us just a second. We're gonna transition to the range. We're gonna put some arrows through this. Get a feel for the bow too. Mm -hmm. See how, how it rolls over, what the back wall feels like, and then we'll put it to the test. We're gonna shoot this thing, like we said, at two different draw lines. This is a 70 pound bow. We're gonna first shoot it at 28 inches on comfort. And then we are going to shoot it on 28 inches on performance. And then JR is going to shoot, take over, shoot it on 30 inches on both comfort and performance. So we'll get a feel for it, see what it, the draw cycle is like on the two different settings. But before we do that, let's get a true weight and see what this thing's actually pulling. And then we're going to actually weigh the bow. So let's take a look and see what we're pulling. Well, that's smooth. I can tell you that. 71.6 pounds, so it's a little bit hot. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. But what was the holding weight? It is 3.2 pounds. So, Jesus. Yeah. Let's see what the actual weight of the bow is. So we got a tag hanging off this thing. We got the orbital dampeners. And the ever favorite whisker biscuit. And we've got a whisker biscuit. So it is coming at right at 4.9 pounds. It's pretty uh, reasonable right there. Yeah, I think that's. That's good. So we strip all that off. It'll be right at that yeah. four and a half pounds. So spot on, Bowtech. So I'm going to trade Sorry. you this. <clears throat> We're going to put this thing tr through the chronograph and see what speeds this bad boy is pulling or pulling, putting out. Let's see. Well, draw cycle is awesome on it, on the comfort setting. You gotta, you gotta give it a little push to let it down. That thing is incredibly smooth all the way back. You can really get into it. Yeah. Aim down, right there. 270. That's 270. Not bad. No. 33 inch yeah. axle to axle on uh, comfort at 28 inches. But this is a 440 grain yeah, arrow. That's, that's not bad at all. 270 is not bad, no. Let's put one more through it and see what we got and it is this bow the back and the back wall this thing is solid that's one of the things i do like about the bow tag keep going right there 269. 269 spot on very consistent there's like minimal hand shock in this bow okay. very very little so I mean, I imagine if you add some some bars to it and you add your accessories, your oh. sight and everything, it's going to be absolutely dead in the hand. Feels really good though. Initial impression, it draws really, really smooth, shoots really, really well. So let's go ahead now. We know we got an average right around 270 feet per second at 28 inches with 440 grains. We're going to take and we're going to put it on performance real quick and see if we're still getting that 10 feet per second difference or or gain going to that that setting so give us just a second while we make the transition and flip these mods all right guys so we got the mods changed over we went from comfort to performance still at 28 inches let's see what the draw cycle feels like on this my tags out of the way oh it's not bad that core sr was Rough. This is actually not bad at all. Came down a little bit. Perfect. 281. 281. Spot on. Yep. 10 feet per second. Very consistent across all of Bowtech's 2024 bows. You flip those, you gain right at 10 feet per second, which pretty respectable. Yep. So you have the ability, if you want something that's really smooth and enjoyable to shoot, or you got the draw length and you don't need that aggressive, faster, um, cam option or mod option you can run with the the comfort setting but if you do want something that's aggressive and to get that speed because if you're maybe a little bit shorter draw length like i am 28 and a half inches 
performance might be the better option for you, but you do sacrifice the smoothness of the bow. But performance on this actually feels really yeah, good. It doesn't look bad. Not at all. That there's good. Yeah, consistent. There is, it does not have the bad dump like some of the other bows. But, and you still gain that 10 feet per second. So yep. I guess that has to do with the overall axle. Well, I don't even know that it has to do with the axle, axle length. No. It's just. I wonder if there's a difference in the cam design. It should be the same cam same though. Same cam. Yeah, it should be the exact same cam. So, I'm not sure what it is, but it is really not bad at all. I mean, comfort is clearly smoother. Oh yeah. From start to finish, it's consistent all the way through. But performance, it does stack. You'll feel it, it starts to build, stack a little bit on the back mm. half, and then it rolls over. But it's not bad, it's very manageable. And yeah. it's, I mean, if I was shooting this bow, I would run it on, on uh, performance all day, just because it doesn't feel very rough or even really that stiff. So. It could be the brace height, because that's a six and a quarter. Yeah. Where the other one was a six and six and an eighth. That little quarter inch, half or eighth inch could make a difference. It does, so cool. So what we're gonna do now is JR is actually gonna shoot them and see what the speeds this thing's putting up. So Carbon 1X, 33 inches, ATA, 30 inches. We're gonna start on comfort, yep. 440 grain arrow and see what we're getting out of it and then we'll move to performance. So stay tuned and we will be right back. All right guys, we're back now with the Carbon 1X, 30 inches on comfort. So let's see uh, first impressions. I haven't even pulled this back yet. Super smooth. Go down, Jesus. 70.1 holding 3.3 .3 pounds. Crazy. <laughs> Woo, hold I, that I thing all day long. I cleared it out. You get in a tree stand, you gotta draw yeah. back, you draw back 10 minutes early. All right, good. Let's see what we're getting. God. Smooth, buddy. Right there looks good. 286, that's good. Not bad. On comfort, man. I will be happy with that all day. Come on, muscles. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Slight. I believe in you. Difficulty. You <laughs> <laughs> the big shot targets, guys. Just the target. They are tough. All right, take two. Looks good. Duplicate, consistent. 286, I'm yeah. digging that. It feels really good. It's like you said before, there's maybe a hair bit of hand shock into it. Which is something I could care less about. Yeah, I don't right? care either. The shot's gone off, the shot breaks. Yeah. You're gonna have, you're, good. you're gonna have bars on here. You're gonna have a sight. You're gonna have a different wrist. It's it's gonna be all taken care of. Yeah. It's cool too. I mean, with the orbital dampeners too, you can adjust them You can to really, offset whatever you want, however you want. You can right. run them in the center of the riser, you could run them offset one way or the other right. to kind of counter some of the weight on one side. So that's another cool feature with, of them as well. And I think like we talked about before, heading, hitting back on the overall axle to axle length of the bow, 33 inches is a great overall length for their carbon bow. Yep. So it feels good, it looks good. They've got a bunch of color options in them. We've got a handful of them coming, uh, but I think this 33 is gonna sell better than the 30 inch that we had last year. I, I agree, I agree. Cool. All right, we're gonna get this change over to performance and see how it goes again. All right, we are back now on performance, 30 inches on the Carbon 1X. So let's see if it holds true. 10 feet per second has been mm -hmm. the standard between all the new Bowtex bows when you make the flip. So let's see, cool. Carbon 1X, 33 inches. See what we get. So we had 286 on comfort. Yeah, it's gotten a little bit more of a hum too. It's still not bad though, yeah, it's right? Not, it's not as bad. You look good right there. 297. Yep. Right at 10 feet. Right at. It's actually 11, JR. Whatever. No one's counting. Math. Who cares? No, but that's very consistent. Yeah. This, so it's so if you're looking at if you if you're unsure what you're going to gain by flipping your mods, you don't have a chronograph, you're going to gain about ten feet per second across the board with all the bow type bows. Yeah. Yep. Do one more just to make sure. And yeah, if you get into it more, it's not. It doesn't feel as bad. Just that little bit of a hump. That looks good. Two ninety five. Yep. Right in there. Yep. Ten feet per second. What do you think? I like it. 
I do too. I, I think I I personally like it better than the carbon one over last year. Yes, I do too. Um, I mean, also with it, um, I don't know if you can tell with the string angle, but it should be a lot better for me, especially being on that longer draw length. It should, it'll be a lot more comfortable for somebody to shoot at a longer draw length. Absolutely. So this thing maxes out at 30 and a half inches. Correct. So yeah, it, it, that makes sense. You're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit less harsh string angle. For us, majority of the guys that are coming through here, a 30 inch bow is, is just a, even though most of our guys are tree hunter or tree stand hunters. Saddle hunters at that. Saddle hunters. Um, we sell more of that 31 to 32 inch and yeah. in some of the longer bows, 34 inch. So I think that 33 is gonna be a sweet spot for everyone. Yeah. I think we're gonna move quite a few of them this year. It feels really good through the whole draw cycle on oh, comfort. Yeah. So. Yep. And like we say about all the Bowtech bows, if you're looking for tunability, it doesn't get any better. Deadlock cam, time lock, you don't need a press to make yep. any of the adjustments on there. So incredible features. So if you're looking for a new bow, I would highly encourage you, especially if you're looking at carbon route, the Carbon 1X from Bowtech is a contender. So it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a great bow this year. Yep. I've always loved Bowtechs. Um, I've, it's been a long time since I've personally shot one, but. Maybe I'll make the switch this year. We'll see. Lots of new bows coming out. There's a lot of new bows. So Lots stay tuned for all the other bows that we got dropping. 2024 is pretty much here. So new bows yep. will be here over the next couple of weeks. We'll have reviews on all of them from Bowtech, Prime, PSE, Hoyt, and Matthews. Yep. So those videos will be dropping very soon. And if you're local, make sure you come by. Check us out. We're here in Jacksonville, North Carolina. You'll be able to shoot any of the bows you want, yep. do any of the testing you want on them. Um, and you can always check our website, extremeoutfitters.com, for all of our inventory as it is live when everything comes in. And you know you can get all everything you ever want from there. All your arrows, accessories, releases, we stock it all from all of your favorite brands. So until next time, we appreciate you guys following along. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video.